How do you convince a company to, to, and I'm assuming a company that you work at. And this is a really hard sort of problem to solve. So I'm, I'm going to give you my two cents and I'm going to let Herbert sort of give you your two cents. Because my job over the last eight years has been training companies in corporate environments. Um, but 90% of the time it's because they've already kind of committed to wanting to switch to go for anything new that they're building. I've had in two occasions walked into a training room where it's management that wants to switch and not the dev team. And that is not a friendly environment. And so for me, this has to come from the, the, the bottom up. When it comes from the top down, it can, it, it just gets, it gets, if you don't want to learn it, you're not going to want to learn it. Right. But what I always say to people is find a small problem that you have that hasn't been solved yet or some sort of service you've written that's doing something fairly small but it's failing or failing the company in terms of not crashing but not performing enough or not something enough and take your free time and build a go service that solves that problem and show your tech lead your manager show how what you just built in the small amount of time that you built it has improved that situation that you see in front of you. I have seen that work. I've heard about that working over and over and over again. But what wins that conversation over with the management team isn't just the fact that you've solved some performance problem or some reliability problem. It's how fast you wrote that on your own. That seems to be like the magic wand, that that light bulb. Hey, I built this in three days. What are you talking about? It took us three months to build that thing. I know, but I just built it in a week. And look, it's it's performing better. So I'm curious, Herbert, like that's my advice. Solve the problem no. with and show them how quickly you were able to do it. That code doesn't have to be perfect, but it works. You know, the funny thing is I would have used almost exactly the same example because I always tell people that you find a find a trouble spot um find a trouble spot that's good for your the language you're trying to um, evangelize you solve the problem and then you go around and you make sure that your teammates your managers and everyone know that you solved it you solved it in a reasonable time and there's some tangible benefit to it so maybe it's solving a performance problem maybe it's faster um, maybe it just uh, actually gets the right answer um, consistently every time or maybe it even tells you what's wrong. And you know, the I never recommend um, working for a company that announces they're going to forklift everything and we're going to be a rust shop, 100% rust shop next week. Uh, you are much better off always taking it gradually, one service at a time, one project at a time. And, and that's really the you know a way to way to productivity. And also your company benefits from not being a monoculture. Um, that way, if, if something happens on one of the platforms you're supporting, there's a real benefit to having other platforms as well, because you can always find more people. You can leverage that knowledge, save the day when things go horribly wrong. 